hello hello everyone all right so i am back again and this time around i came a little bit early okay so here's the thing now the results from uh from zambia are out and of course the opposition leader hakainde hichlema won the elections that were you know you know they had a lot of talk of course and of course he came victor uh you know after beating the the rival that is ed kalungu and we also saw uh, ed kalungu coming out to congratulate the incoming president who is akainde ichilema and a lot of other celebrations going on in zambia but unfortunately again we also saw some hooligans who were starting to loot shops looting you know shopping malls and all this kind of stuff and the incoming president that is akainde ichilema came out to condemn any form of violence to condemn any form of burglary destruction of property saying that he was going to deal with it and everyone who dares to do that all right now besides that now as we know that all the time we have prophets who come out to prophesy you know about coming things and of course you know prophesying about you know these elections that are happening in africa let me tell you something there is one prophet before i share the one that i want to share with you there is one prophet from nigeria and no matter something like that he prophesied about donald trump becoming the president but donald trump the not, did, did not succeed in that and again he also prophesied about ed kalungu coming into power and again that prophecy didn't come to pass so we don't know okay they are the men of god you know we will see what explanation they're going to come and tell us but hey this time around i want to share with you another prophet that was given again by another prophet and this particular prophet came out yesterday uh and, and started to talk about you know that he was sticking to his word that he had heard from god that ed kalungu was going to be the president of zambia so i don't want to put too much words into into his mouth so let's just listen to what this prophet said about ed kalungu being the president of zambia okay let's just listen all right the lord bless you wherever it is that you are watching me from this we act as my final statement and press release for some time now you have been seeing different different kind of posts coming on facebook from me and this is going to be my final statement those of you that follow our ministry god bless you those of you that were in the church today god bless you i want to celebrate everybody that attended the service of today because naturally i did not expect the church to be intact after what is happening in the country and social media but i want to appreciate all the leaders that were in church everybody was in church it was no more business as usual everything was fine this is my final statement to everybody that is hearing the sound of my voice my name is prophet ian genesis and i am the man that is carrying the genesis mandate demonstrating the god of the beginning in the now when god called me i have an agreement with him when god called me as a prophet i have an agreement with him there are things that me and god agreed one of them is that as he's sending me as a prophet he will go with me he will go before me he will speak for me and he will stand to prove his word ladies and gentlemen over the past 24 hours over the past i think 48 hours i've been ridiculed i've been insulted and a lot of people have said your god needs to prove himself because you are a fake prophet that is what a lot of people have said. And I've gone before the altar of God and I've told God, I am not a gambler. And like a lot of prophets that after a missed prophecy or failed prophecy, they will come online and begin to make excuses for that prophecy. I refuse to be one of them because God spoke to me. I refuse to change a prophetic word that God gave me. And I'm here together with you, those of you who are my followers. I'm here to talk to you. If today I change the prophecy and I begin to say what God did not say so that I can pre, pre, pre make uh, uh, the power.
public to celebrate. What am I doing? The prophetic ministry is not a calling of gambling. It is a calling of life and death. The same way God can give me a word over elections is the same way God can give me a word over marriage. Is the same way God can give me a word over promotion. Is the same way God can give me a word over increase. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever it is that you are watching me from, I would rather stop ministry if God does not prove himself than for me to accept that I missed a prophecy. Because between me and God, the relationship that is there is a speaking relationship. If God has not spoken to me, I will not come to the public and say it. And I dare say this without fear of contradiction, wherever it is that you are watching me. If God will not prove to the world what he said, then God has retired a prophet. I said this without fear of contradiction. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not a gambler. My personal life, physically, I'm doing well in all manner of ramification. I am not in ministry to dupe people. I'm not in ministry as a con man. I'm not in ministry as a con artist. I stand on what God said. When Moses met God in the burning bush, he told him, go and tell my people. And Moses God and told God's people. The same way God said to me, go and tell my people. That in the year 2021 to the year 2026, I still stand on that prophetic word because God does not fail. God is not a human being that will lie. God is not a son of man that he will change his mind. How God will make this prophetic word come to pass, I don't know. I don't want to know. All I know is that God spoke to me. And I stand on that premise that the Lord has spoken to me. To some prophets and to some other people, it may look like I'm taking this prophecy very personal. It is personal because I act as a representative of God in the eighth dimension. So people depend on my credibility. Of speaking the mind of God so one wrong prophecy means I have not heard God and I dare say this there is not one day that I have come in public and speak my own thing that God has not said ladies and gentlemen wherever it is that you are wherever it is that you are you are a pastor you are a prophet you are an evangelist we have what we call ministry integrity a prophet who cannot prophesy is not a prophet. A prophet who is missing prophecy is not a prophet. And those are the principles that I stand on. Those are the principles. So for some of you, it may not make sense to you. For some of you, it will think it is business as usual. This election and other elections that I've prophesied about, are elections that God has spoken to me. Whatever that God wants to do in the nation of Zambia, he will do because he is God. He is the most high God. I want to tell the president of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Ediga Chagwalungu, believe the word of God. Believe what God has said. When you believe what God has said, then what God has said will come to pass. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. And I stand before the word of the Lord. Wherever it is that you are, there are people that are already celebrating. Let them celebrate. There are people that are already jubilating. Let them jubilate. If you are a child of God, you have the mind of God. You have the foresight of God. You have the spirit of God. You hear from the Lord. The Lord is still speaking concerning this nation. The Lord is still speaking concerning Zambia. This is not a campaign because campaigns have already finished. I cannot even influence you on whom to vote for because voting has already been done. What I am standing upon is what God said. If you are a prophet and you prophesy from the Lord, 
There is no way God will embarrass you publicly. It means you did not hear God. And it means you must repent because you have misrepresented God. And I know that I have not misrepresented God. What I have said is what God asked me to say. So if you are my follower, wherever it is that you are, around the world, wherever it is that you are, around the world, understand that I stand on that word. And that word that God gave me, it will not fail. It will not fail. It will not fail. It will not fail. I stand as an oracle. It will not fail. The word of God will not fail. From the time I was born until today, I have never seen the righteous forsaken. No, their children beg for bread. A witch and a satanist came on social media and said, even if God comes down, my will will be done. That is directly engaging into the credibility of God. Therefore, God has to manifest himself. God has to show himself. And I tell you, without fear of contradiction, God will manifest himself. God will show himself strong. I am not shaken by anything. I am not moved by anything. I am a man of God, and God called me. I know my calling is direct. I know what I hear. I know what I see. The carnal man cannot see or perceive the things of the spirit because man only sees what is right in front of his eyes. He does not see what is in the future. There are many of you that are insulting me. What I can see, while I am sitting down on this chair, you can never see it, even if you climb the highest of trees. President Ediga Chagolongo. President Ediga Chagolongo. President Ediga Chagolongo. I call you in the name of the Most High God. God has not left you. He has not left you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I want you to notice the people around you that are quickly and easily running away from you because God is trying to show you something even in this election. I tell you, wherever it is that you are watching me from, God will still manifest himself in the nation of Zambia. My name is Prophet Ian Genesis, and I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate demonstrating the Lord God of the beginning in the now and approve this message. God bless you. All right. So we have heard from the prophet, you know, and this, um, this broadcast was done a day ago and he was actually saying he is not apologetic. He, going, he still stands by his word that uh, President Edgar Lungu, I mean, the former president Edgar Lungu is still going to be the leader of Zambia. How this is going to happen now, we don't know, okay? He is the prophet, like he said, he sees beyond what most of us can see. So we don't know what he's seeing. We don't know what is in the spirit. But all we can see right now is uh, Ed Kalungu came out to congratulate the incoming president, HH. This is all we can see, okay, from now. But prophets, maybe they'll be seeing beyond what we can see, right? Anyway, now he is not the only prophet who has given prophecies that failed, you know, that that have not manifested. Let me not use the word fail. Maybe it's too, okay, that have not manifested. Yes, he's not the only one. We have another pastor from Nigeria. He also came to say that Ed Kalungu was going to win soundly, okay? And then we also had another prophet again coming out to say the same thing. And all these things, they didn't come to pass so we don't know. Uh, they are the prophets. So I just thought maybe I should share with you, my friends, so that you know what is happening. You know, sometimes our prophets, they see things correctly or maybe also sometimes here and there they miss. But like they say, they say, however God is going to make it happen, they know and it's all in the spirit. Us, maybe we are just using the naked eye. So since we are using the naked eye, we cannot see beyond that. All right. But other than that, we still say congratulations to the incoming president. H -H, and we just hope that he is going to come in and deliver what he promised the people, okay? 
he promised people jobs he promised to have an economic revolution where he's going to work towards everything economic so that he can empower his people so we are just hoping and we are just praying that this is exactly what he is going to do okay even though the prophets are saying well <laughs> he is not supposed to be the leader the leader is Eddie Galungu that is for another day but for now we are speaking to the one who has been congratulated okay by everyone so this is all we can say right now and also about the, the looting that happened in Zambia where the people were standing to take advantage of the celebrations of the happiness that are around and everything that is going on and they started to loot and everything of course we had the incoming president saying that he is going to deal with each and every individual who is caught on the wrong side of the law. He said, regardless of the party affiliation, regardless of who you are, if you are caught on the wrong side of the law, you are going to be dealt with because he said he doesn't condone violence or destruction of property because what they are trying to do is they are trying to build the economy. So if you are destroying infrastructure, destroying buildings, destroying people's shops, then you are going against what you know HH is up to because HH is about empowering people and building Building businesses and here you are you are coming in destroying buildings de destroying people's businesses and stopping people from going back to do their jobs okay which is not all right so this is all i wanted to share with you my friends and for those of you um who may want to have some full videos of these ones you can find them on some other pages that i run that is uh, uh ziki media youtube there are plenty of them there and also on iafrica24 there are also some more videos that are there so i uh, thank you so much for all, everyone who joined me like i told you i don't want to keep you long out here uh so i just have to come here and give you some updates i will see you again tomorrow with more updates of what is happening i think we currently we can see my the photos that are circulating on social media about what is happening in Afghanistan and many other places and also we have the you know the sadak presidents who are meeting in malawi right now who we'll also be following on what they are talking about what is it about that they are gathering about in in, in Malawi doing what we're going to bring to you all those updates. Thank you so much to Rosima Kungu. Thank you so much and uh, to everyone else who was in the live stream. I might not have seen your name there, but I still appreciate you. Thank you so much, everyone. And until I come back again tomorrow, stay tuned and God bless you. God bless the works of your hands. Goodbye.